Hi hey guys, so what I'm going to do is show you today how to set up uh, custom firmware on the WDR4300. Unboxed. This whole thing is going to take about two minutes flat, so I've already grabbed myself the firmware. Um, in this particular case, I've decided to go with OpenWRT instead of Gargoyle. Um, there's a few reasons for that. Basically, um, on this particular model, um, the wireless isn't quite functional. Um, however, on the 40, uh, sorry, on the WL1043, um, it's best if you stick with something like Gargoyle. It works straight out of the box. So we're just going to pull this out, get it plugged in, and get it booting up. Don't forget to hit the power button. Let's grab ourselves the network cable. The whole entire process should take about two minutes, maybe three. Um, now the firmware has already been downloaded. Uh, for the for the better part, it's basically just plug it in, and you're ready to go. On some of them, it comes with a sticker along there. Uh, you can just peel that straight off. Um, it, it says put the CD in. However, uh, we're just going to ignore that. Let's make sure I have an IP address. Nothing on the network yet. So it looks like we're still basically waiting for the device to boot up. Cool, we've got an IP address now. Okay, cool. So aside from waiting for that, this whole process, if we go 192.168.0.1, Really nice and easy. Login admin. Password's admin. Go down the bottom to support tools. And we're going to go to firmware upgrade. Now here's one that we've chosen earlier. Firmware. Choose the firmware. And hit upgrade. Are you sure you want to upgrade? Done. The whole process from now, it's going to take about another 10 seconds to upload. Um, and then you should see it start to reboot. Once it's rebooted, that's it. Just refresh your IP address and you have the new firmware all up and running. Um, now in particular, um, these models are, are really solid. They've got pretty decent support for OpenWRT. Um, the 1043, although slightly slower and is only single, uh, single band, I've had it running for over 300 days uptime um, without a single hitch. Um, and they'll quite happily push down the, the 30 megs of the current entry level UFB fiber. Um, to be honest, it starts to push it a little bit around the 100 meg mark, but again, even then, it's still fine. So here we are, we're at 95%. That's it, it's rebooting. Easy as that.